Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links and all that stuff. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, today, we're going to start off this little mini, mini series in, in, in this SFML tutorial playlist. And uh, I want to talk about something that's been bothering some people. And that is uh, grid movement and the mouse position for this grid. Um... Like a, a, a mouse position for a grid. Now, I, we did that in the last tutorial, but it wasn't really in-depth. And we never used a view. So what happens when you're moving a camera around and you have this grid positioning of the mouse? And how do you work with that? How do you how do you set it up? So, for example, this would be used in an editor or something where you're moving the camera around and you're still having this grid type movement and you're placing tiles everywhere. So we're going to do that. I don't know if I explained it well enough, but you'll see. So... Basically, a tutorial on uh, views, grids, and stuff like that. So, let's just start off here by making a... We'll keep that. doesn't really matter. Making a little window. So, now this works. Then, the next thing we're going to need is a SF view. This is going to be our camera. We're just going to call it view. And we're going to set... Um, <clears throat> let's just comment this in it. Window. Now, before you guys freak out that I'm not using game class and stuff, don't worry. You can do it in a game class. For this tutorial's sake, I'm going to do everything in main. That's how I usually do it. If I were to do this in a real game, I would have uh, used, obviously, a game class, right? Like I do in my SFML RPG series. But this is just for tutorial purposes. Uh, so you want to set the size of the view. And usually it should be the same as the, um, the window, right? Something you want to note is probably not a good idea using constants here. Um, like this or literals. Okay. Because you want to have one variable that you can put into both of these. And that is, yeah, that's something you always should do. Now, this, for this tutorial, we're just going to have two views. Or just one view and a window. Uh, yeah, a regular window. So we don't have to have that. Um, and I want to bother doing that. So I'm just going to do it this way. So let me think. So we have that. Now we get to set the view's positioning. Now the view is a little different. Its position is set from the center of the view, not the top left like any other box or, or shit like that. So just from the center. So we got to set the center of the view at the center of the window. Okay. To initialize it there. So view dot set position. Position. Wait, set center. Sorry, set center. And then we're just going to use the windows size, windows size dot x divided by two. Now the size itself is a unsigned int, and we're going to divide it with a float, so it becomes a float, right? Uh, I get size because this function does take a float. Um, two point f. So there you go. Now we set the center of the view. All right. And the next step is going to be here so before we're gonna keep the window in the clear obviously clear in the display um this is the done drawing and everything you should know this by now what i'm gonna do is view no window dot set view to window dot get default view so this is gonna reset its view at the end of the drawing okay i want to do that because if i want to draw some gui elements i don't want to do that in this view using the camera Okay, but anything else I draw, all the game objects, is going to be using the camera. So I'm just going to do set view, view in here. Okay, so we're going to set the view to view, draw everything uh, game related. Set the view back, draw everything UI related. Right, so it's just as an example for view, draw. Uh, <clears throat> should be render, actually. I don't like the word draw. Um, render game elements whatever something like that so this is this is the way view works now we have that view set up and it's centered to the to the window all right the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create in it game elements whatever doesn't really matter sf rectangle shape it's going to be a simple shape uh, we're going to call it shape and it's going to have a vector 2 f like this all right so before we init the window we're going to have some game stuff, all right? So we're going to have a 
this is very important all right for grid working with grids this is the most important thing i think and that is to have a float grid size value here all right and we're gonna have it to 100 point f and a unsigned unsigned grid size value of a 100 all right so or you could just do a static cast unsigned uh, grid size f okay we're gonna call it grid size f and grid size u and there you go so that's this is the most important thing what i mean here is we have no literals so we're never going to use a literal for grid size we're always going to make sure there's only one grid size value in our game that takes care of all the grid size you send that value into things you send that in as a parameter you send that in as a pointer doesn't matter as long as you don't use the 100 you only use the variable where it's stored because that means we won't somewhere in our game by mistake have two different grid size values now if you want to change the grid size of the game all you have to do is change one variable and it will change the whole game setup that's why we need these two and we should keep it at these two always all right make sure that is uh, that is what you do now I'm just gonna use the grid size F here see how I'm using that variable I'm not using anything else also I need to see if I'm recording uh, yes okay um, so there you go now we have a rectangle shape I'm just gonna render this window dot draw shape here now remember we're using the view all right and we're gonna have a update place here and update um, update input we could have an update input here okay and then what we're going to do is make an if statement if sf keyboard is key pressed sf keyboard a all right so if we press the a key we're going to say view dot move and we're going to move it a certain amount now i'm going to set a float here view speed and i'm going to set that to 100.f all right and up here i'm going to set a float dt and I'm gonna say a SF clock DT clock, all right? Because we always want delta time. So I'm gonna do that. And right at top of my update, while the window's open, update DT. And then I'm gonna have events. So at update DT, I'm gonna say DT equals DT clock dot restart as seconds. Now you should know this from my delta time tutorial. So it doesn't matter, but this is all you have to do. It will restart that every every loop so we'll know how long a full frame is and that will be our delta time so then we're going to move this now a is left all right a is going to be a left movement of the window not the object the window so we're going to move the view with minus view speed uh, multiplied by dt and then 0 0.f all right i'm going to copy this and i'm just going to do else if here and I'm going to remove that and I'm going to set a D here. So it's going to be right. Okay. Then we'll copy this again. And then this is going to be up. Now we're going to move in the Y direction, right? Y axis. So I'm just going to do this. Minus uh, view speed up. And what is up usually is W. So I'm going to put that at the W. And I'm going to do a else if here again. Uh, with the S character, S key, and then we're going to move down. So this is our view camera moving around, okay? And you can make this faster if you want. You can have 200 if it doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to set it, you can have it. Um, so that is, that's good. That's pretty much it. Now we can move our view around. We have a bunch of stuff. We're rendering out the shape. So let's just run this and see if this works. And yeah, then we'll probably take the rest in the next video. See, I'm not moving the shape. I'm moving the camera. Okay, I'm moving the camera around. And that is very, very important to know. All right? That's very important to know. Now, in the next video, we're going to start off with the mouse positions and stuff. And basically, uh, the, the second most important part of what we're going to do. So... We're going to just use these. So I'm just going to set those up for you. Um, SF vector 
to you view post window no view post screen sf vector to i view post window sf vector to f view no mouse post what am i doing mouse position so you want to set this to mouse position you want to have these variables ready for the next video mouse post view and then sf vector to i we can have an i here or an unsigned it depends if you want to have negative values in your game if you want to have negative grid values you can use i but u is good for us mouse post grid so these are the four you always want to keep track of all the time okay and then sf mouse get position that's going to give us the position of the mouse in the whole screen okay and then we're going to do this sf mouse no this is we're going to do that later in the update actually but this is this is cool this is just an example for you now we'll keep working on this in the next part of the series but thank you for watching there you go at least a quick view tutorial on how to move the view and stuff um, and yeah hopefully i'll see you in the next one all right thank you for watching take care check out the description box and all that and keep working hard all right i'll see you guys and girls in the next one Bye bye